Fight Club has been around on Purity Vanilla for a while, all the way from the first event, whenever that was, to my very first Fight Club event, Fight Club 3. And I've been to them all, besides 6, but we don't talk about that. We've had Fight Clubs 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8. All of these Fight Clubs had one thing in common, 1v1 fights. And today, I present you the first Fight Club to have 2v2 fights, Fight Club Temple Reborn. Fight Club 9 was again built entirely solo, this time by Jake62, isn't that the guy from State Farm? And below in the basement we have Cookie's Bar, built by Golden Cookie and Blamo, and the Redstone Music Machine, made entirely by Blamo. Yet again, an amazing job on everything that was built, the arena looked great as always, and even had some parkour. So, what does this music machine play, you may ask? Only the best song that could ever be used at a Fight Club event. I have the tiger. Excuse me while I jam out. Oh wait, we began? Alright, well round one, we have Jake and Weffy versus Blamo and Jamarcus. Weffy got popped first, now it's a 1v2 for Jake. Can Jake take on two at once? Oh, and Jake Pop Blamo. Now it's a 1v1 with Jake versus Jamarcus. And Jake Pops Jamarcus. One point added to Team Jake and Weffy. And for our next fight, we have Jake and Weffy versus Nerdy Birdie. By the way, check out his channel. And Yalvik. Weffy popped first. Oh, followed by Yalvik getting popped. Which gamer will gain a point for their team? Nerdy or Jake? And Nerdy takes the win this round, giving him and Yalvik a point for their team. Next up on the left bracket, we have Blamo and Jamarcus versus Nerdy and Yalvik. It's like we have two fights going on at once. There's a 1v1 against Jamarcus and Nerdy, and then another 1v1 going on with Blamo and Yalvik. Interesting fighting strats, gamers. Let's see who takes the win on this one. And Blamo gets popped first, followed by Jamarcus. And Team Nerdy and Yalvik sweep the fight, earning a point for their team. All right, gamers, so far on the left bracket, we have Nerdy and Yalvik with two points, Jake and Weffy with one point, and Blamo and Jamarcus with no points. Let us see how the right side of the bracket goes. And first up on the right bracket, we have Koff and Thesto versus Golden Cookie and Sush. Koff hits Sush with some Dragon Ball Power Punch that knocks Sush into the water. Since Koff is going for Sush, I decide to try the last team's strat and go for that 1v1 action against Golden Cookie. Except Sush joins him now and it's just a mosh pit. I get knocked hard into the water and try to escape. Koff and I are now both stuck in the water with Cookie and Sush not letting us pass. We get back out onto the arena. Cough gets popped, and then I get popped right after giving Golden Cookie and Susha a point for their team. Then again, I'm not even surprised. I'm garbage at PvP, so I definitely held Cough back on this one. Sorry, bro. Alrighty, for round five, we have Golden Cookie and Sush versus Halix and Jaw. This fight is a double 1v1 situation. Oh, and Halix gets popped, followed by Jaw getting popped. Golden Cookie and Sush win this round and gain a point. And now, for the last fight, on the right side of the bracket, we got Cough and Thesto versus Halix and Jaw. We do the double 1v1 strat and I take on Halix. Cough gets popped, now it's a 1v2. I pop Halix and now it's a 1v1, but I'm very low, one heart, and Jaw pops my totem. Halix and Jaw gain a point. Alright, so let us see how all the teams stack up now against each other. On the left side of the bracket, of course, we have Nerdy and Yalvik with two points, Jank and Weffy with one, and Blamo and Jamarcus eliminated. And on the right side of the bracket, we have Golden Cookie and Sush with two points, Halix and Jaw with one point, and Koff and Thesto eliminated. Only four teams are left standing. By the way, if you enjoyed my videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. It's really easy and it only takes one click. And for the first fight in the semifinals, we have Golden Cookie and Sush versus Nerdy Birdie and Yaovic. Which one of these teams will make it to the finals? Golden Cookie and Sush went with the trap them in the water strat, and it worked on Yaovic. Can Nerdy Birdie handle a 1v2? Oh, 
Oh, and Nerdy gets popped. Golden Cookie and Sush gain another point to get three and have secured a spot in the finals. Two teams remain with one point, Jake and Weffy and Halix and Jaw. Whichever gets two points will go up against Nerdy and Yalvik for the last fight before the finals. All right, these gamers seem to be going for the 1v1 strat. It does seem to work to get some team points. Oh, first to get popped is Weffy. Can Jake handle 1v2 again? Jaw got popped. Maybe Jake can finish the job. And Halix popped Jake. Halix and Jaw get their second point. Will they get the third point needed to go into the finals? Or will Nerdy and Yalvik redeem themselves and get into the finals? Find out next time. I <laughs> just kidding. It's just a message after our forced sponsor, Coffin Jamarcus. Thank you so much for that free emerald block. I'm going to use it to make myself a porter version of your fancy emerald platform. Thank you. And welcome back to the last fight of the semifinals. Which team will go up against Golden Cookie and Sush in the finals? Will it be Halix and Jake or Nerdy and Yalvik? Let's find out. And we're off to a mosh pit. They decide to move to a 1v1 strat instead. Back to the mosh pit. Oh, Nerdy pops. It's just Yalvik versus Halix and Jaw. And Yalvik gets popped, meaning Halix and Jaw move on to the finals to go up against Golden Cookie and Sush. But before we go into the team finals and the solo finals, we had some fun after Fight Club with a free for all. Everyone versus everyone. I had to maintain my 0.00 KD, so naturally I popped first. But someone pulled an IQ 9000 strat. Jaw was hiding in the water and sneak and even even going under the arena to maintain a full health bar. Once there were a few players left, Jaw came out of nowhere and ends up winning the free-for-all event. Genius play, five-head power play right there. Anyway, let's get back into Fight Club 9. Tonight, we will have the first team winners in Fight Club, but according to Fight Club rules and regulations, rule 69, subsection 420, there can only be one winner of Fight Club, so whichever team wins the finals, they will have to 1v1 against each other to determine who truly is the Fight Club winner. And for tonight's team finals, best two out of three, we have Golden Cookie and Sush versus Halix and Jaw. Round one, let's get it on. Halix and Jaw switching it up, trying a 2v1 strat, completely ignoring Sush and just going for Cookie. Switching it up again to a dual 1v1. Yo, and Halix comes out of nowhere and swoops to help Jaw pop Cookie, leaving them with a 2v1 against Sush. And Halix and Jaw win the first round. Only one point to go. I wonder if this is going to be a two round final or a three round final. Only one way to find out. Let's get into round two. Fight. Yo, what the f***? Golden Cookie and Sush trying out some new strats. Leading Halix and Jaw into the water below the stands. Will this be effective or will it cost them the finals by getting trapped? I guess that wasn't working out too well for them. So both teams take it back to the arena. Golden Cookie pops Jaw. It's now Golden Cookie and Sush versus Halix. This could go into round three. And Halix pops Cookie. It's a 1v1 situation. Holy sh! Halix pops Sush. Halix and Jaw are the first team winners of Fight Club. But only one of them can be the final true champion in Fight Club. The only way to settle this is a first to pop 1v1 between Halix and Jaw. Rule 69.420 is in effect. Halix versus Jaw. Fight! Jaw wins! Jaw is the official winner of Fight Club 9. Congratulations, Jaw, on the win. And that's it for tonight, folks. Tune in next Fight Club for Fight Club X. I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And this is Testo signing out. Peace.